So hello everyone, it's your girl Gel Beauty 87 here, aka Grace, and today we're gonna go over the Catrice True Skin Cover Concealer. So, if y'all remember I used the True Skin Foundation a while back, and I said I felt like it was like a good dupe for the a Rare Beauty Foundation because it doesn't feel like anything's on your face, just like the Rare Beauty doesn't. But they didn't have a concealer at the time, and now they do. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Now the shade range for this is not that great. They have like seven shades at Ulta, and I have the second to darker shade, which is Neutral Fudge 60. I don't know who the hell told them this is what fudge looks like. It is not maybe like caramel fudge, but like you know. Traditional fudge is not this color. And then the next shade they had was the shade that matches my foundation, which is Warm Spice. So I was like, yeah, no, we're not going to match the foundation. We're going for lighter. So this is what I had to work with. Yeah. Anyway, um, it says the Catrice True Skin High Coverage Concealer features a waterproof lightweight texture and provides up to 18 hours of hydrating high coverage. It's a long-lasting concealer. With high coverage, it's lightweight texture with a natural finish. It's made with hyaluronic acid to moisturize the skin. It melts into skin without settling into fine lines. It covers dark circles, blemishes, and redness. It's 18-hour hydration. It is waterproof formula, and it is cruelty-free. So this retails for $7. I got mine for 6 because I use a coupon from Ulta. Of course, I'm going to be using... The Catrice and Essence setting powders to use on my face. If you all did not know, Catrice, um, I'm sorry, um, Essence is the sister brand. Catrice is the sister brand to Essence, so Catrice is the more expensive version of Essence, basically. I did a review on this powder a while ago because it's shaped in the form of the hooded ones and it looks really similar. This is the, I'm trying to find out what the shade is on here. This is the shade Cool Beige that I use for underneath the eyes, but. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm kind of rushing through the video, y'all, so my bad. But um, if you all did not know, I mean, well, you didn't know because the video I made about this hasn't come out yet. And it will come out after these videos I'm filming today do. But my grandmother has stroke Wednesday. So I kind of have to, like, rush um, to do all my videos now because, like, I have to rush home so my mom can go to the hospital and visit her every day. And then I still have to go to work every day. I haven't been to I didn't go to work Wednesday and I didn't go to work Thursday, so it'll be it was my first time going to work yesterday, which was Friday. Um, let's go ahead and put this concealer on. I'll tell you the story. So she had just been to the doctor. Oh, I forgot to tell you this part. Okay, so I concealed underneath my eye the way I normally do on this side, and then I just left this side bare. So I have my Milani um, brightener underneath this eye, and then I have my um, just Jua concealer underneath there because I like to do a cream like Makeup by Ariel said, and then you put like a liquid on top so i did that on the right i remember my right your left and then we're just going to put the concealer underneath of this eye as a traditional um way of concealing just in case you all don't necessarily conceal like that i want you to see how to work if you just use this concealer and don't do the extra steps that i do okay okay but anyway like i was saying so my grandmother just went to the doctor um last week if you all remember i had to leave here early to go home so my mom could take her because Adrian couldn't go with him, so I had to leave. And she said it. Um, I left too late, and so she didn't get to take her that day. So I ended up having, she ended up having to take her Sunday. Anyway, when she took her, they told her that um, her grandmother um, needed to take her medicine, or else she could possibly have a stroke. And my grandmother's a very stubborn person who likes to have her way and doesn't want to do what anybody says. So since she didn't want to follow instructions, and she's like a little kid, she'll hide the medicine and lie and say she took it. Since she hadn't been taken to the entire time, like the doctor told her, she ended up having this stroke. So, my mom was literally outside for like 10 minutes doing yard work. She came back inside to check on her and she slumped over in her chair. She had, um, her, she slumped over on her left side. Her left eye was closed and her arm was like stuck. So, she called the ambulance. The weird thing about it, she said the MS driver told her like the times matched up to the time my mom said she had been gone based upon how long, um, I guess my grandma had been in the position she was and I thought that was weird because it's like, who's lying about that? I'm like, did you think we were trying to get insurance money or something by letting her later longer than she was supposed to and then calling you or what? Like, I'm confused. But anyway, they told my mom that 9-11, I'm like, 
we've been doing her for five years acting just like a total jerk to everyone so it's like why would we wait five years to finally decide to you know like let her like die because I feel like this is what they were like trying to imply we were trying to let her um slay her long as she's supposed to and then lying about the time hoping she would die to get insurance money which to me is just gross and disgusting but I was like I mean it whole shows on TV about how people do that so it's like I guess I understand him doing that but at the same time I was like insulted because I'm like we're not those type of people and I don't appreciate you implying such things but anyway my mom went to the hospital that night and then um I had to stay at home with Adrian of course because obviously he's 11 so they went to the hospital down the street from our house because there's two hospitals close by thank goodness and since they said we got there just in time, that was good. But then they had to do surgery because apparently she had a blood clot in her brain from um, having a stroke, I guess. And so they gave her the surgery. So then I didn't go to work. Thursday, my mom went and sat at the hospital for a while. She couldn't talk. She couldn't really, like, do anything. It's like, I guess she knew my mom was there, but it was like she couldn't say anything and she couldn't really move or do anything, so... Every day my mom planned to go down to the hospital till she can um, come home and we got to figure out how we're going to deal with that because um, our house isn't necessarily wheelchair accessible. But I mean like it's not like her house where there's stairs like our house doesn't have any stairs. Thank goodness so I'm putting on my second layer of concealer now. But yeah so our house doesn't have stairs so there's that. So far I feel like my under eyes look the same in spite of um, me doing my normal routine versus this one. But you know, could be the brush too, because I like to use the brush that stamps in the product as opposed to the one I'm using now. But since I used the one to stamp in on this, I couldn't very well be contaminating now that I'm using it, because it'll still have product on it from the other one, and I went back to do all the extra. So let's put some down here. But yeah, so I had to go through all that this weekend, y'all. So I didn't. Go to work. Normally, I would put a different concealer underneath here. And if that's the funny thing is, I've been trying to use up the other Catrice Camo concealer that came out with a while ago. I've been trying to use that up recently, so to have to go buy another one for a video. I'm just like, oh, we're just replacing this one for another one. And the crazy thing is, like the shade I have in the other one is really similar to this shade right here, just because I don't feel like they give that great a shade right for people. My skin tone, but that's just my personal opinion. But y'all can tell me what you think down below. I feel like this isn't that great a shade range for people. My skin tone, but, you yeah. <laughs> yeah. know. Start blending it around here. I would put on a cream, um, product around this time. Oh, I meant to tell y'all, too. I used the Jackie Iron Method or Alyssa Forever Method of putting on my foundation today. So, she puts, like, setting powder underneath her, um, primer to make sure the, um, Makeup last, she usually uses the It Cosmetics um, Pores No More. Underneath, I just use the Peach Perfect one from Too Faced just because I, um, well, I that was the one I used the first time when I tried it again because I haven't done that method in ages. The funny thing is, I, she was one of the first YouTubers I found that was like, um, brown and so I've known about this method for years I just used it a couple of times and didn't like really take it seriously but I'm um, gonna try to use it now just for the summer just because it does help with that and I feel like in the fall and winter I won't necessarily need to use that method just because you know I don't need to do all that in the fall and winter in Chicago okay let's go ahead and set my under eye with this cool beige powder from Catrice Okay. Well, y'all, so I've had one hand of the week. And there's a long wall to come in the future as well. So I'm just over like, oh, Jesus. Here we go again. So for the video for the next couple of days, I'm going to be behind just because it can get mobile used up on my internet as usual. Wasting it on his damn Wii switch and then he goes to his dad's house and then I don't have any internet to like next month so it's like I'm not gonna have any fast internet with a hot spot on my phone to like um July the 3rd so I'm still great but I mean since I have to go home anyway I guess that's good I'm just trying to make sure everything gets filmed so that way I don't have to um rush 
Now I feel like I don't really have brightness underneath my eyes, but that's because I use the Catrice powder as opposed to the other Catrice powder I like, which is funny. You think I'd have brought my favorite one with me, but I was like, I already have one here, so I didn't worry about it. If you all don't remember, my favorite one is Light Illusion. So. Okay, so this is what the face looks like set. Um, I know it's not looking like super great, but once I put all my other products on, of course, we will look a million times better then. So I will check in with you all before I leave here. And then when I come back in the morning, obviously, I will check in with you again to show how the concealer wore and all that good stuff. But remember, we did the traditional way of concealer on my right, your left. And then we just did the concealer on its own on my left, your right. So I will check in with you all before I leave here after I put on all these other lovely products. And then I will check in with you at like 3 or 4 a.m. Okay, background. So I have returned. It is, I think, 11 o'clock. It's 10.45, so we haven't had it on that long. If you all remember, I think we started this video at like 8 something. But I have to check in with y'all now because I got to go home. And y'all know, I told y'all earlier. So let's check it on our face and see what it looks like. Um, I have on the um, Sydney Grace and Timtalia palette. I'm still not feeling this lip. I, I don't... I'm just not feeling the lip. I don't, I don't like the formula of the lipstick. The highlighter still looks nice, though. I need to put some more on my cheekbones before I leave. Because as y'all know, I, I, I'm sorry, you don't know yet. But I did six different eye looks. So I did two looks per palette on one on each eye. So that's what's going on with this. The concealer, it looks the same under both eyes to me. I feel, actually feel like it looks a little bit dark under this eye than it does on this eye. And we put the brightener underneath here, so I find that weird. But, you know, whatever. Um, It still looks good so far. I meant to say when I first started the video that I don't feel like it concealed very well. I mean, sorry, I didn't feel the hydration of it very well underneath the eyes like they claimed it did. I didn't feel any hydration, but that's just me. Um, those are my thoughts on my face right now. I will check in with y'all at like 3, 34 o'clock in the morning, okay? All right, bye. That stuff looks nice. But considering underneath the eyes, remember, um, this is the eye where I did my normal routine. This is the eye where I didn't. I feel like it looks more shiny underneath the eye where I did my normal routine. And I don't necessarily know that I'm feeling the way it looks under there. However, um, on the eye where I didn't do my normal routine, I actually like it okay. So it might be like a decent amount of coverage to where I don't need to use all the extra steps I normally use. Because I like the eye where I didn't do the normal steps better than the eye where I did do the normal steps. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm going to try it out again tomorrow with some different powders and different things. However, now when it comes to this concealer, um, i say give it a try. It's only like 6 bucks. I feel like it did... Uh, nice amount of coverage i feel like it wore nice just don't expect it to give the hydration under the eyes that it talks about because i didn't feel like it hydrated underneath my eye at all throughout the day with this 18 hour hydration that they claim but then again i don't feel like my under eyes necessarily feel dry unless i put an excessive powder on and as you saw in the video i didn't put on a lot of powder so there's that but those are my thoughts on all these products so i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all are diamonds i'll catch you guys in the next one okay bye be blessed Oh,